Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, 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 Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm almost out of breath because I want y'all to know I went and got my nails done. Okay, so all of y'all that's listening, stop laughing because I know that y'all running to to do something because it's beautiful outside. And I am Donna Jones, and this is Be You Saved By. Praise the Lord. Save by quickly to things that we can't handle. Say bye. I say bye to everything, everybody, whoever I seem to want to say bye to, because I don't want them to mess my day up. I don't want them to fix and feel they can do whatever they want to do around me, to me. Look, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say one thing that I, I do believe, thank God for the healing book and all, but I just want to say, you know, Thanksgiving is coming. You know, I'm the one, be you. I'm going to be me. I'm going to let y'all know I'm going to do me. Amen to the man. So, I'm, I'm preparing, but before I can prepare for me, I want to, well, no, I better take that one back. You know, the, my, the Bible says, look in the mirror and who do I see? I see me. So I'm, I'm just basically saying, I got to see me first. Amen. I got to see that what I'm going to tell you I got to be doing it. I got to work it. So I'm not going to tell you something that I'm not going to do. I mean, I had a day yesterday. I I mean, I and I want you to jump in there and, and come up with your own conclusion of why you did what you did. But I was teaching this class and and I'm trying to say that we need to prepare ourselves, prepare ourselves. And it's simple, a simple, like me, they call me a senior citizen, but I, I don't look like a senior citizen, stop playing. But they say I'm a senior citizen, but I took, again, I took my 72 and I turned it around to 27 because that's just how I feel. I feel still 27. I'm running and sliding out the these these trucks and cars that they got. It's up so high. I just sit on the edge and just slide down to the sidewalk. Okay. I, yeah, I, I do that. I do that. Hallelujah. But you know what? I it's still all about God. No matter what's going on in my life. I just want to read this one um this one, this, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Exodus um, 14, 13 through 14. Exodus 14. And, and, and this is what we have to do before I can tell you, to, you know, let's get this together. Let's get organized. You know, let's, let's put first, let's put God first. Amen. Uh, and I love be you say bye because the Bible's the be you say bye means first of all it's telling you be you and you can be you when you read when i read this scripture because this is going to tell you what not to do okay y'all yeah i know y'all do y'all know y'all pushing me because i know you can't wait to get this scripture okay duh. and moses said to the people and I'm saying to you, because you are the people, do not be afraid. I know y'all heard this. Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you. Not me. Not me. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not. I'm going I'm to read you the word. But I can't come over to your address. I'm going to tell you what God said. And guess what? When God, when I tell you what God said, it pops 
right back on me because I'm reading it to you. Okay, Donna Jones, he's talking to you too. So he's talking to me. And Moses said to the people, do not be afraid, period. There's a period there. So a lot of things when it comes to making a change in your life, redoing something that you've never done before, maybe even changing something. You might change your eyeglasses. You keep wearing them black eyeglasses. Now it's time to put on a pair of red eyeglasses. Duh. Okay, snap. And so th this is what it's saying. And, and I like this because there's things that uh, uh, do not be afraid there's things that sometimes I, you know I'm 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 ready to go on a, a a cruise I'm ready to get on the airplane I, I'm ready to uh well okay I started to say I'm ready to change my lipstick but I ain't ready to do that okay duh but you are out there all you're doing is magnifying sickness. You're mag magnifying the kids, uh, saying what they're saying to you, and you 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 want to answer them. No, no. Let them talk, and then what you do, you go and throw some lipstick on, or throw on a new blouse, or throw on a blouse that you haven't uh, worn in a, a while, throw on a pair of pants, and if you can't put your clothes on, Tell your helper, hey, look, you see them pink pants over there? That's what I want. See, you got to, you got to change things. <clears throat> you can't always depend on somebody else, but there are people out there that have to depend on people. Look, I love you. I love you. And you know what? I wish people would go to uh, uh, up tv6 and 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 and, and look at the programs and see that hey we out there to love on you we out there to treat you right we out there to show you how beautiful well i, I can't see you but if if you think you beautiful like i think i'm beautiful we got something going on girlfriend we about to tear it in coffee dip your toast in some <laughs> uh, chocolate milk no sugar okay diet sugar get up off that sugar and use some diet sugar okay duh thank you you're so welcome you're so welcome I, I yeah me and you we we having a good time okay but this is then he says stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. See, oh, I, I have this thing about, um, uh, you know, I love, I love seeing God's work. And I always say, watch God move. Watch God. Hey, if they didn't have a song about that, I'd make a shirt. But they, and I might could put some more words with it because the song, watch God move. So I might be making a shirt or something, you know, because I like some of the same that God puts in my spirit, but he's not going to put me somebody else's uh, words. But I do like that song, watch God move. And when we watch him move, we can be a senior citizen or we could be 18. I'm going to say 18 because 18 understands and they can read and they can write and they can hear and they can walk and, you know, and talk. So 18, I'll go with the 18s, but there's some smart 15s too. Okay. Duh. Well, anyway, let me tell you. He said, so I'm saying this is what it is. Watch God's work. Watch and, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish. For you today, accomplish. What is it that you want? I had to hesitate a little bit. I, no, wait on you. 
you know, because I got on my shirt today. B U say bye. Hey, B U. I know it looks, I hope it looks right, but B U say bye. Amen. I made those shirts and I just love my shirts. And just call up TV and, and, and ask about those shirts. B U say bye. They are neat, neato, neato. But in the meantime, in the meantime, let's go here. And I, see, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, people don't prepare. You got, if you got children, you tell them, hey, winter's coming. Thanksgiving's coming. Thank you, Lord. That's the Thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I magnify you. I glorify you. I, 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 I love speaking to you. I love you talking to me. Oh, shoot. I don't do that all the time. But when I do, okay, when I do, I'm so happy when I do. And I'm, I'm thinking, I'm just thanking God. I'm thanking God that I can do that. I'm thanking him that he woke me up this morning in my right mind, my health and my strength. I walked, I drove with my daughter today and I want you to lift up yourself. Lift up yourself. This is about you. This is all about you. See, I'm working me by working it with you. See, it, everything ain't about me. It's about your love. It's about your peace. And it's about how that the joy of the Lord is coming to you. It's, and then you thank him. Thank him. Stop thinking and listening to dumb stuff, negative stuff, things that don't mean nothing. You, you got a listening ear. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I, you might be a senior, put your ears in. Donna Jones, put your ears in. I got them, they right behind, okay. I'm just letting y'all know. I've got a pair, <laughs> girl. And, 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 I, and I hear people trying to <clears throat> talk and they know people are in the um, church or the, area that you in that you can't hear them but they they talking so loud but when they get out with a group of people they screaming and hollering I'm like I gotta turn my ears down but when I want to hear something I want you to talk and <clears throat> people will tell you I love the microphone I love the microphone you know why I love them because I like hearing me talk Everybody don't like hearing me. I like hearing me talk because I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus. He healed you. He healed you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet 2,000 years ago. You are healed. Now you got to walk in it. You throw your hand up. Throw your foot up. Lift your foot a little bit. Now, I didn't tell you to get a hat. Okay, uh, I just just lift it a little bit, you know, because you heal by the stripes of Jesus and, and put your hand on on your ear. And you can even say, you know what? I didn't hear you, but could you speak a little louder? Hallelujah. This is the God that I serve. So if I serve him, I believe that you need to get some of them nuggets. You, you need like it's like I said, it's it's getting cold outside. And because it's getting cold outside, you need to tell your children to get you some extra blankets, uh, get some uh, extra jacket, uh, extra coat, uh, <clears throat> so that when they take you out, you are covered. Don't let somebody take you out and it's too hot. You got on a winter coat and, and a pair of boots and, 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 <laughs> and it's hot outside. These are choices that we have. And so because we have choices, somebody's, uh, uh, especially senior citizens, and I, I'm kind of on senior citizens today, because our children tend to want to talk to us any kind of way. And I, I say, have mercy on them. And, and when that happens, 
and you can't do anything. God, God hears your thoughts. Satan don't hear your thoughts. So only thing Satan hears is when you open up your mouth and you saying crazy stuff, Satan attacks you because of the one that's saying the stuff is because he knows that they are not in the Bible. They not reading the word. Okay, I'm reading the word. And so he don't like the word. Oh, Lord, my goodness, he don't like the Oh, oh, Lord. If you get somebody to read the Bible to you, Satan can't stand it. And he has to flee. And so that's why when I'm speaking, I'm speaking so that the word will get out there. He said, do not be afraid. Whatever it is is making you uh, afraid. You tell it to go back to hell where it belongs. If, if, if something, do not be afraid. You think that somebody might be going to hit you. You tell it to go back to hell. But you got to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Because there are people out there that fuss and fight and hit each other. You got to tell the devil, get your hands off of my children. Get your hands off of my mama. Get your hands off of my daddy. Get your hands off of uh, my, my, my nieces and nephews. Get your hands off. Because he said, do not be afraid. Satan comes to... Mm, calm down, Donna. <laughs> okay, I'm going to calm down. Ooh, shot. Anyway, if I didn't say that right, it don't make any difference. But I am... I mean, okay, I'm going to say this. Thanksgiving is coming. No, yes, yes, yes. But Halloween is coming. And every time I get the opportunity, I'm going to say it. Well, this Halloween is something that they just lifting up. Well, Halloween is not good. It's not nice to fool Mother Nature. It's not nice to dress up and scare people. That's not my God. My God didn't scare me. He loved on me. And so, no, I do not believe in Halloween. And I'm hoping somebody's listening to this. Come on. There are people that are sick and you, you scaring them. You, you're knocking on their door when you know they sleep just to get a piece of candy or some popcorn. You go pop your own and buy your own candy. First of all, you don't know what's in that popcorn. Second of all, you don't know what's in that candy. Now, what? Well, come on. It said, uh, do not be afraid. <laughs> but, <clears throat> excuse me. But stand still and see the salvation of God. Of, of the Lord, same thing, which he will accomplish for you today. See, don't open your doors to uh, witchcraft. Don't open your door to demons and devils. That's what happens on Halloween. You should be saying Jesus instead of uh, uh, opening up your door because when you open up your door, you let Satan in. You let them demons in. You let them eat uh, imps in. And then you want to know how come you, you got a headache. You want to, you, well, how come you are uh, frigidity? How, how come you got anxiety? Well, those are characteristics of Satan. You can't love. God said, I give you one commandment, and that is to love. Satan don't want you to love. He only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Y'all didn't heard these verses before, but I got to remind you. I, I got to remind you. That's my job as a teacher, going the highways and the byways and remind y'all, Satan don't like you. But guess what? We don't like him either because we serve the most high God. I serve the most high God and I don't want him to hurt or harm somebody. I put the angels around cars, the train, buses, 
children, adults, countries, states, excuse me, homes, businesses, everywhere there's a man, woman, boy, and girl, I tell the angels, go for it. Clear the highway. You know, a lot of states uh, are getting people shooting each other. Y'all know that ain't God. Don't give God, don't take, don't give God uh, and, 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 and like fighting and cursing and all that. That ain't God. He ain't doing that to you. He's not even hurting you. And he sure now is not putting sickness on you. When you have things going on on your body, okay, you, we had to tell the devil, get your hands off of me. Get out of my home. Get out now. Be gone in the name. Hold up, Jim Shoe. In the name of Jesus. See, I love saying Jesus. Because if anything's trying to sneak up on me, Jesus. Anything, I feel like something about the Jesus. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. How can you forget that? I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Repeat after me. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. I shall live and not die. Now, this is how you prepare yourself. You got to prepare yourself for the winter. You got to prepare yourself. I mean, there's people in your uh, home got birthdays. Happy birthday, or sometimes I forget. I look on um, uh, Facebook once in a blue moon, y'all, because I, I don't do Facebook. I don't like Facebook, but I do get on there to love on somebody. Amen. And I do put scriptures on there and, 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 and I do kind of push up the Democrats. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I do. I, I ain't shame. So what? What you going to do? I thought so. I thought so. In Jesus' name, I thought so. Uh, nothing. I thought so. Ah, okay. But I'm having fun. I'm having fun doing this. I'm having fun teaching the young as well as the teenagers. Hey, be careful out there. Don't be, like I tell them all the time, don't be out there by yourself. Is you crazy? Don't go, don't go to the store at midnight by yourself walking. Don't and don't get in somebody's car that you just met yesterday. Cause it's in fact, I'll tell you, don't get in their car if you met them 25 years ago. You better know who they are before you get in their car. I got all this information because I know this is the time to let people know. Don't eat that candy. Don't eat uh, really. You don't know what somebody put a needle in there and not. That's how come you need Jesus. All you need to do is say. Uh, listen to Miss Donna. I I need Jesus. <laughs> See if he don't come real quick, fast, and into her. Mm. All you got to do. I need you, Jesus, and he will be right there with his arms wide open. But you got to also prepare yourself. Put some socks on when you going outside. Uh, 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 put some stockings on up under your pants. I know this sounds crazy, but, and I know what y'all saying. I know what you're saying. Who does this on the TV? Who does, Donna, I, I'm preparing you for the winter. Get your, get your boots out. Cause it's going to be raining all, I think all week. I can't go fishing cause it's going to be raining. But if I was to go fishing, I got my raincoat on. Now, you know I can't fish with an umbrella, but I'm going to have a rain hat on and a raincoat. I, I might have some gloves on. Because I, I ain't going to mess up my nails. Y'all just got them dust. Man, I plan. But I'm going to tell you about Jesus. I mean, see, when I talk about Jesus, you talk about Jesus. Talk to Jesus uh, about some things to your family. It's Especially the little babies. You can tell the babies Jesus loves you. 
They might not understand that. They might not know it, but they can go to their parents and say, you know, Nana said Jesus loves me. Whoa, look at these, look at these nuggets. Look, look at these seeds going through. They're going through you to the kids, to the mom and daddy and the aunts and uncles. Nana said, um, uh, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. Plant seeds. We don't plant no seeds, Christians. So, okay, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. Saints, we don't plant these seeds no more. And, and, and I tell, I tell, you know, I get my nails done. They know I serve Jesus because I'm saying Jesus on everything. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, woo, that's it. Now that woo, meant a lot because woo, I didn't know him then. And then when I did learn about him, I, you know, we would shame faced it and we didn't want to say it in front of other people. Well, no, you get yourself equipped. And when when the lady come in there or who's going to cook your food, tell them what you want. Then, you know, you can only leave your food on the table for a couple of hours and then it got to go in the garbage or in the refrigerator. But tell them what you want. Tell them so that when they come back the next day, they'll bring it. Okay, I know people don't, girl, I could eat oatmeal all day. I could eat some oatmeal, a hot cup of coffee, and some toast and jelly. Okay, the jelly got to have be one of them low-cal jellies. I'm just letting you know. But he will accomplish for you today. But he wants you to stand still. And when you stand still, sometimes say something. Say something to somebody. People around you, you well, there's a lot of senior citizens and I do lift them up that are in the nursing home that don't get no visitor. But you know, I know the pandemic has stopped us from visiting because we were going to the nursing home, nursing home and we were singing, but because of the pandemic, we can't go no more. But you know what? Listen, the, the, the nursing homes, thank you, God. The nursing homes could put gospel music in their speakers. They could do that. Let them hear some music that they body, you know, hey, huh, it's went to the left. Now take it to the right. See, put something in the speakers where they can hear voices. They can listen to, uh, turn on the gospel station. I mean, they, I ain't gonna say they don't know, but the word gonna heal them. It's the word. They come by hearing, and when they hear, you know what? I'm getting ready to, I'm going to go myself, and, and I'm going to call all the nurses on home that I know of, and I'm going to say, can't y'all put some speakers in y'all speakers? Because half the time, they ain't going to see the people no way. They taking their time going to see the sick. They taking their time taking their medicine to them. They taking a long time to give them a shot that they need to be healthy. See, so I'm aware. I, I went to nursing school. Only part is I, I met my husband before I got my certificate. Y'all stop laughing. Uh, but and yeah, and I, I forgot about nursing, okay? Now we serve in 50 years of marriage. Hallelujah to the, okay, I, yeah. I love y'all. I love you. I love you. I love you. So in the meantime, in the meantime, it says here, for the Egyptian, Egyptians um, whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you and he and you shall hold your peace. Well, back in the day, they, you know, they, they, there's nothing new up under the sun. 
all this fussing and cussing and plagues and and pandemics and COVID. This was this ain't nothing new. Put your mask on. Stop going around without your mask, giving your disease, coughing and your flu and, and choking uh, diseases in your body on somebody. Put your mask on because they say in some states that you don't have to wear a mask. Don't be stupid. You're taking it to somebody else, okay? Because somebody in the grocery store, you walk into the um, uh, uh, the COVID. You, because you ain't got your mask on. You think I'm tired of the mask. It's a piece of material. And guess what? Go up under the bottom of your chin and, and pull it out a little bit so you can get some air. And your mouth is still covered. And your nose is still covered. Come on. Dang, they need to be paying me. <laughs> Shoo. They need to be paying me. Amen. But I'm telling you what the word says. You shall hold your peace. And if you ain't at peace, say Jesus. I didn't give you no recital. I didn't say buy this book. I, I, I didn't say that people are not around you, but what, because they're around you, you can say Jesus in front of the nurses. You can say Jesus and don't be scared of them. They just a human. The, the, main, the main one that we need to be serving is Jesus. Jesus, amen. You can say Jesus in your home and he's going to protect you. The angels are going to come and protect you. Maybe your kids don't want to hear Jesus. <clears throat> say it all day and then when they walk in the door, you ain't got to say nothing because you already planted them seeds of Jesus. Uh, it, tell them to turn on the gospel. Tell them to turn on the gospel station. They sitting you there all day anyway. Turn on the gospel so you can be healed by the stripes of Jesus. You can hear it. Then your faith grows. Mm. Yep. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen to the man. That's how come I, I, I'm talking to y'all and I, look, I'm being blessed saying the word Jesus. I'm being so blessed. Amen. I, I, and that's how come I love to say his name, Jesus. I love saying his name, A to the man. And then it turned around and said, for your days may be multiplied. See, you ain't dying. When you say Jesus, your days may be multiplied. Deuteronomy 11, 21. Your, that you, um, yeah, that your day may be multiplied and the days of your children in the land which the Lord swore unto your father to give them as the days of heaven up on earth. Up on the, whoa. I said, whoa. Yeah, I ain't up under the law. I'm up under grace, but the word still works. When you hear the word of God, that you see, I I I, I say all the time, uh, I thank God for Jesus. I thank Him for healing me. I, th I thank Him for waking me up. And and then I, I turn around, ooh, wait, and I and I, I tell you, it said that your day I shall live and not die. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. I shall live and not die. Works today. This is 2021. Uh, that I shall live and not die. Those words still work. I shall live and not die. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus from the top of my head to the bottom of my. I have 
to say something. And if I have to say something, you have to say, say the same thing that I'm saying. Stop playing. The word works for anybody that says Jesus come into my life. Come on now. A lot of people don't want Jesus Christ to say Lord and Savior. Well, I do. I'm one that, look, you stand in front of me, you're you going to hear the word of Jesus, okay? If I had to carry a Bible around with me, I have no shame. Because he said he'd never leave me nor forsake me. So if you say Jesus come into my life, he will never leave you nor forsake you. That and I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You calm down, down. Usha, Usha. I got the Usha. Okay. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. People won't know how come you moving around and talking and smiling and laughing. Amen. Be and, and that's because you got Jesus. And then let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about my, my daddy. Let me tell you something about my brother, uh, my father and my brother and the Holy Spirit. They got a sense of humor. Sometimes I, I get so caught up, and, and I know some of y'all have heard it. I get a dude. <laughs> I need you to give me a word right now. I've been, uh, no, I, I forgot my tablet. I forgot my book. Dude, come on. He because he loves me because that's my brother. And I'm his sister. As he sits next to God, my daddy, I sit next to my daddy. Come on now. And whatever he get, gave Jesus, he gave it to me. So I, mm, yes, I, I want everything. I, I want everything of my, that my brother got. I want it. It's his and it's mine. And he's no respecter of person. He ain't going to give my brother Jesus something and don't give it to me. I'm just pulling it down. My white on white in white Rolls Royce before I leave this earth. But I want to drive. I want to drive my own car. Hallelujah. I want to drive. I don't want to be uh, driving Miss Days. I don't want nobody to drive it. I want me to drive it. But a lot of people are afraid to ask. Afraid to talk to Jesus. Now, I give him a earful. Amen. And I appreciate and thank you for my father. And he watched his son die for all of us. Every man, woman, boy, and girl on this earth. He watched that. His mother back, you know, she watched that, but he did not die in vain. He died that we would be healed from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet and that we can go around this earth rejoicing. Yes, do you. Go on, on that cruise. Go on that airplane. A to the man. Yeah, I'm sending y'all. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. I'm sending y'all. Smile. I see 100 year old women <clears throat> jumping from plank. I know, I don't know. I really, really, really want to do that. I really do. I, I just want to make sure that the man that where are the woman's back that I'm on, that they're gonna be safe. Duh. You know, those are decisions that you gotta know you gotta be careful about. But I'm I I, I want to do that. I really want to do, do that. Hallelujah. And I just want you to know that. I thank God for be you say bye. I thank God for the people that are doing what they do, that we can get the word out there. Amen. And so, I, I you know, so I, sometimes I, I get in a hurry. Sometimes I take on stuff. And, 
but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. I, I, I don't mind, you know, helping somebody. And uh, because we all should help somebody. Sometimes we just, it's all about me, myself, and I. Well, I, 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 I want it to be that way, but God don't want it to be that way. So I had to change my ways, okay? Okay, Donna, be you. Okay, okay. And say bye to things that you can't handle. I can't handle. Amen. So, but I can I can handle me. And I can be a sister or a friend to you. Amen. This is, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know that <clears throat> you are loved. You loved by me and you love by God. And he 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 loves you more because he see you. He see you. you no, know, I'm gonna just say I love you. Amen. But I love you in the name of Jesus. So, like I said, find a safe haven where you're eating good. They didn't come in and they didn't gave you a bath, put on some clean clothes on you, some clean socks. Or you can do it yourself. Oh, no, oh, because I feel somebody saying I can do that myself. Well, okay, duh, duh, excuse me. I'm just loving on you. Okay. So um, I'm not for sure um, about, you know, uh, be you say bye as far as me hanging up. And um, so I, I'm going to let them hang up, but I want you to know, thank you for your attention of listening. I appreciate you a lot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just grateful. Okay, I won't, I won't sing. I promise you I won't sing. <sighs> but I have a but in there. I'm, I'm thinking that my time is still going. Oh, I, this is, oh, and, and let me tell you. I was running around, you know, and 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 I'm I just want to say, okay, sometimes we late, sometimes we late. I was late. So I'm, I might have to make up the time and difference. But um some of you, you they might have you on the cell phone and you 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 want I wish you could talk to me, but you, sometimes you should call um uh, and find out uh what what we are doing and and how you can speak to us that would be another uh element that could go on here where we could hook you up and 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 listen to you oh and and, and you know what i wouldn't even be embarrassed if somebody called and said miss donna i don't like listening to you that's okay that's okay because we're just gonna you know that man named click we're just gonna click you off but we're gonna love on you first and so that's okay, because you know everybody don't love everybody. Everybody don't like everybody. But that's okay. That is so okay. Amen. That is so okay. Because the word lets me know that, you know, if th didn't nobody like me or love me, Jesus does. And let me tell you, I can get more from you, but from Jesus than I can you, because we got cell phones and and ways of communicating and 
most of us don't communicate. But I know one thing, and that is when Jesus got something to say to you, oh, you going to hear it. Duh. You, you might want to put your fingers in your ears, but let me tell you, he's going to drop it in your spirit. See, he going to drop that down in your spirit spirit where you can hear you think you're gonna get away from him come on he shed his blood for the whole wide world did nobody that he shed his blood didn't get a touch look look a touch he touched everybody and he did it for every man woman boy and girl every nationality he didn't miss nobody. He didn't miss anybody. He did it for everybody. He shed his blood. Let me tell you, when I think about what he did on that cross, I I, I just kind of shiver, you know, and, and, and uh, I, I cry, you know, be, I, I, I mean, when I saw the, the movie, I, I cried because of what he did for me. And then I don't want to praise him. I don't want to say nothing up to him or about him. Uh-uh, I, I, hey, y'all need to come to Restoration Urban Ministries because let me tell you, I can dance. My twin brother can dance. My daughter, she dance. I, we dancing for the Lord. It ain't called show and tell. It ain't trying to be a smart aleck or trying to impress somebody. I'm, I want to say it to, Jesus, I want you to know how much I appreciate you. You gave me a blanket. You gave me a bed. You gave me a cup of coffee. You gave me a sandwich. You gave me shoes and socks. And you you, you let me go to the beauty shop. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, the nail shop. Not the, okay. The beauty shop is the makeup. And look, and I love not having hair. I love it. I don't have to worry about growing it, having to go to the beauty shop and getting it pressed and curled, or I don't have to go and, and get a wig. Y'all see how happy I am. Do y'all really see how happy I am? I just want you to know this is how happy I am. I'm so, so happy. Because he made me happy. And when I opened up and said, and started serving Jesus Christ. And every time I make a mistake, he, he has forgiven me. Because I, 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 he, he let me know that he forgave me. See, and everything I'm telling you, if you're having problems drinking, stop drinking. You know, I, I love my pastor. If you're drinking and, and, and you're not equipped to stop, you don't know how to equip yourself, stop buying it. You don't want to smoke cigarettes because you end up getting a trach or something, then stop buying them. That's the best solution we can come to. Stop buying cigarettes. Stop buying um, uh, uh, the, the alcohol. I got stuff there. Yes. And, and some of y'all, you know, stop buying a lot of candy. Amen. Then if you, 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 you're going to smoke reefer, then go to the your doctor. Make sure that it won't hurt you. Is everything we do is a legal? There's a legal way to to stop doing it. Okay, there's a legal way to not do it if you want don't want to do it. There's a there, it's a legal way. Holly, and and I'm I'm telling y'all I'm telling you like when you go places. Maybe you don't like people. You you might be a loner. You you but you can't get on the boat by yourself. But you can isolate yourself in the room. You you can't get on the airplane by yourself. But you can sit in a chair and take you a healing book to heal you 
from not liking people. Take a book and read a book while you're on the airplane to get where you're going. But then when you get where you're going, people are around. Hallelujah. I don't know. Um, no, I keep saying this. I, I don't know how many more minutes I got, but I hope that you take on what I'm telling you. Amen. <clears throat> because you should be as healthy as I am. Yes. You, 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 you sicknesses of the devil. And that's how come I, I read you these healing scriptures. Amen to the man. Because I love you. I don't have to, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't have to do this, but I want to. And, and first of all, I, I really just want to love on you because I can't get out there now. And, and, and come to your home. I can't come and go to the nursing homes and the children's home. I can't, I can't get there now. They're not letting us in. But they let me on this Zoom. Amen. And I'm taking advantage of it. Zoom, duo, and IMO is my friend. Because I can talk to my grandchildren. I can see them running around their mama's house. <laughs> okay. Amen. Amen. So I just want to love on you. And uh, I again, I'm, 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 I'm not so much as, you know, waiting for them to hang me up. Because, you know, I got the word right here. Amen. I got the word right here. And, and, and I can read the word. And, and I'm going to start reading my Bible. But these healing scriptures are just awesome. They're awesome. So when whenever you want to hear uh, something else, you can call me. Again, they they put our num my number up. I know they because I, I can't I I can't hear you through the phone. So I always put my phone number uh out there so you can text me. Text me first before you call me because if I don't know your number, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to call you back, but you can text me. Hallelujah. You can text me. So, again, this is B, you say bye. I'm going to say that one more time. This is B, you say bye. I'm Donna Jones. And love you. God bless you. <laughs>